what's the crack lads welcome back to the channel we are going to be taking a look at the player of the week on chord stars today now these players have been released before so they are re-releases okay it's a bit of a tongue twister there but we've got Haaland, we've got jude bellingham we've got declan royce we've got theo hernandez van dyke odegaard there's a lot of players in here modric probably your last chance to get him hoyland is in there as well you've also got the other lucas hernandez the brother bastoni or rafinha there's a lot of players in here that, to be honest with you lads, there's a lot of players in here that are probably not worth even spinning for. But there are some nice players in here if you are looking to create, a, 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 you know, a special squad or something like that. Like you've got Declan Rice, Odegaard, Van Dijk, all of these guys from the English Premier League. Jude Bellingham, obviously with his celebration uh, card here. Modric is there. There's some nice cards in there. But I feel like at this stage, they're just literally just scraping everything out and just throwing it out there before eFootball 2025. Because I do think... They are going to make a lot of changes to the cards. Now, you will notice that there's four boosters here. There's two of these with boosters, and David has a booster as well. And I think there's one more booster here. Yeah, uh, Kelleher has a booster here as well. You can clear all of these. Like, you can clear this. It's going to cost you 3,000 coins, and you will be able to get every single player. There's 30 players in total. Is it worth spinning for? Again, it, it's all about perspective. If you have five spins for 500 coins, and you get Bellingham, Rice, Van Dijk, Modric and maybe Hernandez you're probably singing right but if you spin five times and you get any of these five at the back you know even if you get Gomez or Onana or Kelleher like it's going to be a bit of a sore one for you so I think if you are committing to getting one of these top you know eight players there are probably better versions of the cards out this Odegaard was a really nice card I remember playing with him he was actually super fun to use exceptional quality you can't train these guys up i'm not going to make this video too long as a player of the week review you've let i've let you guys know time and time again that i think that the player of the week uh, cards need a big fresh kind of boost or they need something fresh with them yes they're for newcomers and i know i've seen a few people in the last video that i did as well i'm not missing the point with these player of the weeks i understand that these are for and i've said this repeatedly myself these are for newcomers. This is for people that download the game today and they like know that they can spin three or 400 coins and guarantee themselves a really good player. Or they can pop in a 1,000 coins and get 10 players that they can literally take to their screen or to their game plan, start a match, and they'll have a dominant team to play with, right? And I understand that, that it's an instant buy-in of a squad where you're guaranteed top players that you don't need to train, you don't need to understand the mechanics of training, you don't need to under understand stats, skills, player builds, nothing. It's direct, but I do feel that the player of the weeks do need a fresh injection of something in them, right? Now, in saying that, if you do get these cards, I would say that Haaland, his balance is still very poor on this card. He's a good fox in the box. Use him as a super sub. It's definitely a good card. It goes to 101 overall, 96 finishing, speed, acceleration, kick and power, physical contact. Very, very nice with the booster. And he's got some good skills, including fighting spirit and super sub, as well as heading, acrobatic finishing and first time shot with long range shooting and rising shot and chip shot control. Very nice car for the highest rated. Odegaard, we've already talked about him as the booster. Extremely good attack and midfielder. Wouldn't really play him CMF, even though his aggression's good, but very good player skills, very good skills uh, for uh, an orchestrator, and his stats are quite good as well. Very dribble-centric, he's a top pick. Van Dijk, I feel like Van Dijk started off eFootball 22 and 23, unbelievable. Then he got nerfed to the ground, or the gameplay just didn't really suit him, and now he's back very dominant again. It's very hard to get past him with the AI, uh, the way it is at the moment. This is not his best card, but as a build-up with 80-plus speed, uh, with the manager boost, jump and physical contact and all his defensive stats up around 90. Very, very solid. And of course, he's got aerial um, with this. He's going to get the boost to his jumping and physical contact with the aerial booster. And he's got every player skill that you could possibly want under the hood. I don't think Vlahovic is uh, that good. He's an okay center forward fox in the box. They're better than him there. His balance kind of kills him with his tight possession, but everything else is pretty spot on. Hoyland, very fast, very effective. Doesn't have the booster. If he did, I think it would have been a slightly better card. Skills are a little bit lacking as well, but a nice card. And you can notice there the United, the new kits are there as well. You've also got David. He's kind of similar to Hoyland, except he's got the booster and he's got better player skills. Very, very nice card as well. But again, the tight possession and the balance are going to be a little bit of a killer on the card. Hernandez and Modric, very, very solid cards as well. I do like every version of Modric that they've ever released. This is a really nice one because it's got super sub and interception. And he's got all around really good box-to-box -box stats for an attack in box-to-box. 
Theo Hernandez, probably one of the best all-rounder left backs in the game. Can play CB as well. Very, very solid card. I know a lot of people missed out on this card originally. Very, very good chance of getting him here. And then, of course, you've got Declan Rice, who's down as a box-to-box. -box. Declan Rice has had Anchorman and uh, Destroyer cards. This box-to-box -box booster is really nice. Captain C, slide and tackle, interception. He's missing blocker. You can't give it to him, but a very solid card. And then, of course, you've got Jude Bellingham. Now, Jude Bellingham has had 15 cards, if I'm not mistaken. The new EAFC cover star. It's a solid card with the booster. It definitely is as a whole player. It's one of the best cards they've released of him because he's got double touch, flip flap, and soul control. Rising shot, first time shot, one touch pass, outside curler, interception, fighting spirit. Very, very nice card. Where he kind of lacks a little bit, I think, is that because he's a whole player, he does operate in a position that you'll probably have a lot of other whole players. If you're starting off this game and you've got like all GP players, they're all upgrades. The rest of the cards are kind of a mixed bag. That's kind of the top 10 guys. Bruno Gomeric is a good player as an orchestrator, but just a little bit too slow for what's out there. Lucas Hernandez, pretty decent as well. Everything I said about his brother, Theo, applies to this guy. He's just a little bit more defensive and not as much attacking. Two of them can work in nice tandem because CB and left back. Bastoni is good. Rafinha is just your traditional winger. Akanji is pretty decent. Marcus Llorente is probably the pick of them for the players that are down on the, on the low. He's down as a CF, but he can play everywhere. Look, he's a very unique card. This is the thing. If they bring in the transfer market, this Marcus Llorente card will be one of the most rarest cards in the game. So that's where you could get a lot of value with these cards if they do that. The rest of the pack, lads, it's just as it is, man. You know, you've got K Kevin Kelleher here, who's going to be down as a defensive goalkeeper. Doesn't have an in-game face. That'll probably put people off. And he doesn't have a long throw. The rest of his stats are pretty decent. But yeah, if you've got a couple of coins to spare, let me know what you think of the player of the week. It's 30 players. There's probably about six or seven of them that are worth getting if you have a starter squad. Other than that, you're probably not going to waste your time. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe.